Hello everybody, this is Debo with Debo's Mirror Reviews here, and this week's review will be PT-109. Starring Cliff Robertson as Jack, as Lieutenant Junior, Junior Grade John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Featuring Robert Culp as, as Barney Ross. Not to be confused with the Expendables, Barney Ross. Ty Harden as Leonard Tom. Executive Officer, featuring Norman Fell, a fig, best known as Mr. Roper from Freeze Company, and James Gregory. Now, I gotta say, a fitting adaptation of, of, a, of the nation's 45th president's war years, which kind of surprised they didn't reach do, do that do that part in like the Kennedy miniseries from 2010 but because since they since that one focused on the career on the political careers of of, of Jack and Bobby but while this movie here is the war years and a fitting cast casting the guy to play, to play the to play the, the president or the soon to be president in this case and especially since Cliff Robertson was handbaked by President Kennedy himself and being good enough choice although Although coming down to it, I kind of thought Jack Lord would have been better, but but hey, I wasn't Jack Kennedy, so. For. And. Great. And it was a excellent take, excellent casting from James Gregor being the ball busting command, commander to. To the. Comic relief of Norman Fell with in his parts. Though this one's supposed to be more act, more biographical. Since Kennedy happened to have been the first sitting president to have a movie made about him, along with, along which was and was only until two thousand eight when. When Josh Brolin became played played Bush forty three and and then there was that mini series on Showtime about Trump, but let's not go there with him. So focus on Kennedy for today. And Will Robertson did a great such a great performance that back in twenty eleven when I read that he passed when he died. They didn't write down Oscar winner Cliff Robertson. They just wrote PT 109 actor. Yet Robertson did win an Oscar for a movie called Charlie. But yet he was no more for for PT 109 for for PT 109. And like I say, well, it was. In its excellence, you about had like had the, some witty banner, banner, great action scenes from from the beginning where it was going to general quarters on that one ship, and then they then the whole comedic thing of them re, of Kennedy were re, and his crew were rebuilding the, the one hundred nine to get in the fighting shape. And in one scenario, with with the commander on board, after they overshot shot a landing and hit a hit a barn, and and then another old badass scene where they're rescuing some some marines or on a on their boat you know, from from land, to, given how this this area was. Oh, given how Kennedy was stationed at Solomon's during the war. And, 
and you gotta give it to old Jack Kennedy. For, for a man born of privilege, he is this power to being being practically the only one of those elites to who actually use this power to get in, not stay out. Like all other chicken shit billionaire rich folks back back in the back back in them days and such. And of course Of course, Robertson, just fantastic portray portrayal. Gotta say, anyway, along with the epic action scenes, then they had that, the one where they described them well, as, as he was a fair and charismatic leader. And to the point that I almost want to say the only flaw was that it didn't have the have Jimmy Dean's song in the in the in the mix because but you did get a excellent instrumental take on Anchors Away but even in the credits it has had a had Jimmy Dean's had the Jimmy Dean song in there. Yeah, that was an absolute banger of a song. Like how di this was an actual absolute banger of a movie. I mean, Cliff Robertson knocked it out of the park, and and practically, especially since this is the second Robertson movie I've actually reviewed. The first being the Tobey Maguire Spider Man, because because of a pattern with. With both Andrew Garfield and McGuire Star Spider Man's as both actors that played Uncle Ben has also played JFK. Now I just kinda wanna say if they ever do another season of of Clone High, how about how about Alicia RFK clone? And do like a storyline of of them having like a rivalry or something. But overall, I gotta give Peachy One Nine an excellent five out of five, despite not having the Jimmy Dean song. But I had to maintain historical accuracy since it came out in '62 when Kennedy was president, not during the war. After winning the Navy Cross, because of how true, true, despite how in real life, in the case of the real Ronald Nine, of how. Kennedy fought his, fought his way to get in because he because of his back problems and tried to make him a, would have made a normal man 4F but but of course him and his daddy's pull was able to get a get a get a PT boat commission. And rightfully so, of him earning the earning that the Navy Marine Cross. And how and rules and I'll say back to the movie with some epic action scenes of how how every time they the General Corps has always hadn't been for an air thing, not a enemy sh ship, not counting the Amaguri, who which is the Japanese boat that sunk the real Ronald 9. But overall, a definite 5 out of 5. I hope y'all like, subscribe, and enjoy, and I'll keep dishing them out. So, one more thing. I just want to say, it was kind of like, had to wait to like 20, waiting to this long to review P209, given how it's almost 60 years from the from of the 60th anniversary of the assassination, and and next August will be the 80th anniversary of the of when the real Rollo Nine sunk. So there's that. And all right, y'all. I hope I'll do it for this week.